Hey yo, what's going on? My name is Armando Baez, and on this channel, I talk about fragrances and fashion. Getting a nice, genuine compliment on how you smell will honestly boost up your confidence. It'll make you feel better, and it'll even make your day. Man, it just feels good when somebody acknowledges how you smell. Now, in my opinion, that is one of the more underrated compliments. So today, I will be talking about the top seven most complimented fragrances. To start this list off right, I got Dunhill Icon at my number seven spot. Now, once you smell this, you will immediately think of Grape Fanta or Grape Soda if you have ever drank one of those. Now, you might think that's kind of odd, but let me tell you, that only makes the fragrance more unique because it is followed by a fresh and citrusy feel, and then it turns into a very soapy, clean scent with a spicy touch to it. Although the spring is my favorite time to wear this fragrance, you can actually pull this off any season, any occasion. And the last great thing I will say about this fragrance is that you can purchase this for under 50. Now that is a still if you ask me because you will definitely smell amazing and expensive with this fragrance. Number six on my list is a coffee based fragrance. This one right here is Polo Red Extreme. This is definitely one of my favorite coffee designer scents. Now besides the coffee, this has some citrusy and woody notes to it followed by some sweetness. And if you ask me, this is very smooth and masculine all in one. And if you are going on a date or going to be around females, then look no further. The ladies tend to love this fragrance. At number five on my list is Guerlain Loam EDL. Man, I just love this scent. This fragrance right here will definitely set you apart from the rest. This just hits the spot every time. Whew, man, this smells amazing. Right here on this one, you will immediately notice the sweet cherry. Sweet cherry? Now that's something that most fragrances could not pull off. Now I hate to break it to you, but this masterpiece right here is unfortunately discontinued. Now that is the only negative thing I can say about this fragrance. Now I will say though, some do complain about the longevity, but I would just say just overspray and that will take care of the issue. And this will take care of you for the rest of the day. But one thing I know for a fact is that once you spray this fragrance on, you will definitely impress people. I have gotten so much compliments to where people come up to me and they just ask, what is that that you have on? This one is nice, it's sweet, like I said, so you can definitely wear this on dates. And the woman will just not wanna leave your side if I could be truly honest with you. Just trust me on this one. This is worth the buy. In at number four is Aqua de Joe Profundo. The top notes in this one are C notes and bergamot, which means this is a very fresh and clean fragrance. But women tend to love the fresh and clean smell on a man. The reason for that is because it pulls off more of a masculine feel to a man. I can definitely see this go with a nice classy outfit. I just feel like it brings that type of mood. Also another thing is this fragrance right here has some range. You could smell this from very very far away. I have to mention that the Profumo version of Aqua de Joe is more versatile. But based off of my experience I have gotten a lot more compliments with this version and I have just got better ladies reactions. So just trust me on this one guys, it's worth the buy. Now we're heading down to the top three. So these are the big dogs. And to start that list off right, I got YSL La Nuit de Lome. Man, Whew. where do I even start with this fragrance? It's sweet and spicy all in one and it just has an iconic cardamom scent to it man that's an amazing note to have it's one of my favorite notes to have in a fragrance this is sexy it is manly and it goes perfect for dates and the bedroom the more i smell this fragrance the more i realize that there has yet to be a fragrance that even comes close to smelling like this one this fits very well for the fall and winter time but I actually believe that it is very versatile for the simple fact that it is not overpowering, which leads me to my next point, And that's the fact that this fragrance is very weak in performance and projection. But there's a solution for that. And that's the fact of just overspraying it 
and actually carrying around a travel size bottle with you so you can reapply every three to four hours and that should be able to take care of the issue. The reason I say that is because this fragrance just smells too amazing for women not to smell it all year round. And I know it's a little bit of work, but I truly think it's worth it. Especially once you smell this, you will understand what I am talking about. Number two on my list is Givenchy Gentleman Boise. Now I don't have the fragrance on me at the moment, but let me tell you, this is another one of those scents that the ladies will never get tired of. Whenever I spray this fragrance on, I just want to smell myself all day. It truly smells that amazing. They did a really great job with this fragrance. Now for the top note, you will get spicy and powdery notes and you will immediately smell the iris. And for the dry down, the woody notes and the iris are what really sticks to it. This one is seductive and very masculine. You will definitely walk out the house with some more confidence as soon as you spray this one on. I am now down to the number one spot on my list. And I just had to go was Armani Cold Profumo. Man, this one just never fails. It has gotten me so much compliments. This one right here is just impossible to dislike. I have yet to meet a female who does not like this fragrance. Now for the notes, you get amber, vanilla, and cardamom. It is very sweet, but don't get me wrong, this fragrance is very manly. It'll definitely boost up your confidence. Another positive thing I will say about this fragrance is the performance. This right here is the real MVP when it comes to longevity. I honestly just have nothing negative to say about this one. It's timeless and it's perfect to wear in almost any occasion. Woo! All right guys. So if fragrances or fashion catches your attention, or if you are trying to learn more about those topics, then please like and subscribe because my goal is to help you guys out on this channel. Also, comment down below some of your most favorite fragrances or some of your most complimented fragrances. Or comment down below if you might have thought I forgot about a fragrance. I would love to have conversations with you guys down there. And if you guys are trying to see more about fragrances and fashion, then please follow my TikTok and Instagram. I will have that down below. And lastly, I would like to take the time to thank you for watching my video and I will see you in the next.